if the patient has too much crowding. So then it calls for serial extractions. A, a procedure should be started at a fairly early age, around seven to eight, to ensure that you get the maximum benefit from this procedure. We will actually have a lecture on serial extraction during the on-site module in September. This happens often. Parents will call you and say, uh, my, my, my little kid or son or daughter had two good teeth, and then it looks like the, the other ones are erupting in a very strange position. So the patient shows up to your office with this kind of a situation where the two central incisors have taken basically the spaces that needed, but unfortunately have consumed almost all the space that the lateral incisors need. So what happens now is you have lingually positioned left lower lateral incisor and a rotated right lower lateral incisor. Both situations are frequent. And I will tell you why it's so important to treat this patient at this age. Patient, by the way, is a class one normal cephalic patient, which happens to have very large teeth. And I requested the extractions of the primary canines in the lower arch. Parent just got one tooth removed, as you can see right here, and you can see immediately that the lower lateral incisor is actually self-correcting into the space. It doesn't solve the problem of the canine, but the alignment is taking place naturally. So this primary canine should now be extracted, which it did. And you can see also that the now the lower left lateral incisor is self-correcting. This case will obviously not work well with leeway space control because I think that we need uh, too much space for this patient. This was the time that I was just before we decided to place a lower holding lingual arch. It's an important aspect of when you decide to do serial extraction, I always like to place a lower lingual arch. What is the benefit of doing this procedure? Let me roll back the, the slides. You can see here that this tooth is actually erupting upright and the, 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 the crown is lingual, which is not a big problem. The big problem is that the root now is lingual to the lateral incisor. If you do nothing, this tooth will totally erupt in this position. And what will happen is when you want to do, you will not get the, uh, you can see here slowly, it gets a little bit better, but it gets a lot better when you remove the canine. But what, of, what is of importance is not the position of the crown, it's the position of the root. If you had let this situation the way it was, the orthodontic treatment would be difficult because you would have to torque the root all the way to the labial. Or in this case, what has happened is the root has basically drifted by itself through probably the force of the tongue and through remodeling of the bones. So there was a self-correction, which is very difficult to obtain when you do this procedure orthodontically. In this patient, you can see the profile. She has a very attractive profile. She just has those big teeth that do not have enough space on the arch. She will receive more extractions and we'll do a serial extraction procedure. But what I like to do with these cases is she has a good class one occlusion, a good profile. I do not want to let these low incisors to drift more lingually. So I put a lingual arch, not so much to hold the space, but much more to make sure the lower incisors stay upright on bone. So this will conclude the part one of this lecture, and we'll move on to the dental eruptions problem in another part. Thank you.